here we are in Florida at the IMG Academy. We're here to talk tennis and we're lucky enough to be joined by Jimmy Arias, who is a former tour player, director of tennis here at the Academy. Thanks very much for joining us, Jimmy. Busy couple of weeks for you, I know, because you've just come back from the US Open. Uh, we're going to be talking about rackets today. What does a player need to do in order to be able to select the right racket for their game? I mean, I think the most important thing is to first know what your game is. So you have to figure out your game. If you're a player that has plenty of racket head speed, plenty of power on your own, you might want to think about selecting one of the rackets that's for control. If you're a player that doesn't have a big swing, that doesn't have a whole lot of racket head speed, you're going to want to get a racket that gives you a little extra. You get the power from the racket. And then if you're a player that has some spin, but you want a little more to throw off your, your opponent, you're going to go with one of the spin rackets. So you just first have to figure out what your game is. And that's sort of maybe the coach's job, to have a look at your stroke and see what is best for you, and then help you pick out which Dunlop racket is best for you. So if I'm playing an exhibition match, which occasionally still happens, I'll use the control racket, because I don't care if I lose to my opponent in an exhibition, I just want to look like I can hit every <laughs> ball in. So, very solid feel. Very consistent feel. And the person I'm hitting with is also using this racket, which is why she's not missing at the moment. She almost missed there, though. Let's go for the big finish. Oh, wait, sorry. I thought that was it. <laughs> I was switching up rackets. Up I never finished with the big backhand <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> the spin racket would probably be the best for me at one time because I did hit plenty of topspin. Um, and this would give me a little extra topspin. But again, the only time I'm playing is an exhibition, and that would just make my opponent not look as good because it's difficult to play someone who has a very spinny, very heavy ball. If you're going spin, that gives you even more racket head speed. So you can see that my ball is actually jumping much more with this racket than it was with the other. But I'm not sure if I try to flatten it out, which I'll do on the next ball. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Actually, it went really well. Ooh. So spin is control and power. This is fantastic. As you keep going down, this is also power, but this has a little more control. I actually played with this for a little while because as I get older, I have less racket head speed than I once had. So, so this one sort of is a nice balance for me. Here's the power racket. And I can feel, it feels to me like possibly the ball doesn't stay on the strings as long. I can feel it like that one got away from me. So I have a swing that's not really conducive to, to needing power from the racket. So it's not ideal for me. It's fun when I'm feeling it that day. You can play unbelievably well with this racket. This is gonna give you so much pace that somebody like me that has pretty good racket head speed will have trouble keeping it within the lines of the tennis court. It's right. gonna keep on rolling. So this is more for the people that hit the ball in the center of the racket and use the racket for a little bit of pace. So let me see if I can keep this in Bradenton. <laughs> because, ooh, yeah, now that one shoots. I, mean, I see we hit the camera already with this one. I'm gonna try again. See if I can control this one. Would you hit it in? Ah. Ah. Pretty light for my taste, but very powerful. You can feel it even if I don't swing that hard like that, the ball still got onto her in a hurry. So if you have these kind of strokes, you're gonna want this racket. Just sort of take the racket back, finish square. You're gonna get a lot out of this racket and your opponent well, recognize that it's not because you're hitting it hard. Your racket's doing it, and they're still going to think you hit the ball pretty big. So, in summary, work out what kind of player you are, then adapt the racket around you. Yeah. Find that racket that suits your style. Do you know what's interesting is people don't realize how important the racket actually is to that. If you, if you find the best racket that suits your game, your game without doing anything else will improve a ton. 
So Jimmy, it's been a journey. Yes. Thank you so much Thank indeed you. for uh, demonstrating our range of rackets here. My pleasure. Um, any sort of last tips you'd say to anyone? We've seen you get involved with the rackets. We've seen you try them out. I guess the advice is just have a go if you can. And yeah, find that, is, you. that is my advice. My advice is figure out your game style and pick the racket that suits yours the best and you'll have the best success playing. Thanks very much for watching our video. Check out our other elements of the game video too. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.